Thank you. High speed danger on the highways as a police chase that started at about one in the morning in Springfield Township ends with a river rescue in the Ohio. Thanks a lot for uh, staying with us here at six o'clock. That's right. Uh, police say the man that they were chasing trying to swim across the Ohio in an effort to get away. WLWT News Live John London is here and John the suspect went into the river there in Newport. He did. It you know, was a wild chase and the way it ended had a lot of drama to it as well. And as you'll hear for a few moments, police weren't sure if he had driven into the river or ditched his car and waded in. This episode had two parts to it, the wild chase and the watery rescue. The high speed chase that hit 90 at times stretched along I-75 from Springfield Township past the downtown Cincinnati ramps. Southbound I-75 passing Ezra Charles speeds 90. On to North 71 past Eden Park into downtown. He just hopped over center median. And into Newport, ending up behind the IMAX theater down by the water. We're going to be under the bridge now and he just drove off into the river possibly. Police use their high beams in heavy brush. We could hear him getting out of the car, running through the wood line, so he's somewhere on the bank line. As the suspect didn't let the river impede his effort to try to get away. Yeah, you're out there in Newport. They have spotted the subject. He's in the water swimming toward the Taylor South Gate Bridge. We're putting the Zodiac in the water. The fire boat on the water in the middle of the night searching. 93, do they still see him? 937, the drone doesn't see him anymore. This is not only about an arrest at this point, but saving a life. Once somebody goes into the water, that becomes a rescue. Firefighters That's Union President Matt Alter on the immediate assessment that must be made in situations like a police chase. The critical criteria is, is the scene safe? Is it safe for fire? Because we can't help if we become part of the situation, if we become a victim ourselves. As 2 a.m. approached, this was no longer just about a capture, but about making sure no one drowned. 10-4. I'm seeing on the camera, we just couldn't really tell if they were getting him out or not. I think they're pulling him in now. I can see him on the camera. Pulled from the river, the man was taken to UC Medical Center as a precaution. Police have not provided a name as yet or any indication of criminal charges. John London, WWT News 5.